It's nice and sunny today, but it's very deceptive. The air pollution is back. I needed to go out today and get some fish food because we're out of run out of fish food. And I told myself I wouldn't go out, but I got it because I got to get some fish food. Turns out that it's a really bad day today. The air is really, really bad. Crap. And yet people seem to be completely unconcerned. Like nobody's wearing a mask. Oh, no, one person. There was one person wearing a mask. But other than that, nobody. It's usually the younger generations that wear masks that are a little bit more worried, I guess, or a bit more in touch. I don't know if they do it for health reasons or for the looks. I think most of the time it's for the looks. But uh, I'm heading out to Daiso. Uh, for those who don't live in Korea and don't know what Daiso is, Daiso is the, I think, uh, the acronym for Daiso, which means there is everything. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go there. They got a lot of stuff and they got fish food too. Take you down to the store, away from the street because it's noisy here. So I'm gonna see you inside the store. Daiso is the place to get anything and everything, and I mean anything and everything. You can find literally everything in this place. They've got food, they've got like Christmas decorations. It goes from like, uh, I don't even know what these are, wool coverings to tiny little flimsy thingy decorations. To school supplies, toys, cosmetics. Perfume, flash toys, balloons if you're throwing a party, glowing balls, candy, we got Haribo's and all kinds of stuff, all kinds of goodies. Look at this, a whole aisle just dedicated to junk food, cold food, you can even buy rice and ramen, and teas, there's some more cookies up there, uh, no alcohol, stickers, Bags, socks, hats, toys, small section of electronics, uh, camping stuff, cooking gear, pots for camping, this is wicked, knives, two different kinds, flashlights, surprised there aren't any tents, you got fishing feet, aha! Here's what we're looking for. I found what I came for. The pet section. I'm not shopping for cocoa, although our leash broke today, so I might need to pick that up. My mom got us a leash when we were here. Look at that. Retractable leashes. This one's five bucks for a 10 kilogram dog, three meters long. So the size of cocoa, I guess. The other one's 15 kilo. 15 kilo and the larger dogs. Coco is small, so this one will do. Uh, it just stopped, I dropped it today and it stopped retracting. There's a huge pain in the buttocks. And fish food. Okay. Fish food, that's what I came here for today, really. Look at the fish food section. Is that a little, oh this is a hatching tank. If you ever get little fish babies, that's where you can stuck them into. You get uh, filters, pumps, Fish food, some little plants. I don't know what that is. Mats to use for your tea ceremony, if that's what you're into. To continue the tour, these are cleaning tools, your brooms. Oh, look at that, it's a little ducky. Quack, quack. Floor, bathroom floor mats. Garbage cans and other pots and cups. This is the home department. Uh, Tupperware, uh, tumblers, other liquid holding receptacles, pots and pans, uh, bags, wrapping, strainers, bowls, plastic and paper, plates, towels, gloves liquid washing soap spoons and spatulas and knives and cutting boards 
chopsticks, coffee filters. Hey, they got coffee filters here. Cool. Oh, look at that. I never knew these even existed still. This is a lemon squeezer. Just in case you don't know. A lemon press, maybe that's what it's called, a lemon press. That's a mini table, very cute. Most of the stuff here is pretty reasonably priced. It's all like this is 3,001, so it's about $3. This store started off as pretty inexpensive, but now I think prices are getting up. This is a rice bowl. Uh, these are used in restaurants all over the place. It's a metal rice bowl. They put the rice inside and then uh, put it in kind of like a heating, um, heating oven. Tiny little dishes, you can probably use them for camping because they're useful. Stainless steel, made in India. Made in India. India makes those. Not sure what purpose of this is. You could use this for a grill uh, if you barbecue. You could probably throw in some garlic in here and just put it, toss it on the grill. Uh, like I showed you in one of the videos. You got a cocktail shaker. I don't know if it's good or not. I have no experience with making cocktails. But, uh, Mm, I don't know. It's here. I guess if you're an expert. Another one is uh, little metal cups. Also stainless steel cups. These are also used in restaurants a lot. And everywhere else. Pretty handy because, you know, you can drop them and reuse them no problem. Stainless steel stuff. Good. Are those made in India? Made in Korea. These ones are Korean. Your curiosity. Made in China. China. So this store like picks up made in India. What about the rice bowls? I don't know. They're made somewhere. Little chairs, made in China. Table. Moving along. Plates. Bowls. Get little plates, dishes, cups and glasses, mugs, wine glasses. Big wine glasses, mirrors. Good luck, cat. I think he's waving at me. I'm gonna get some cash today. Oh, look at these workout equipment. Oh, this is two case. That's not a lot, but all right. Steering wheel covers and some stuff for your head, I guess, in the car to keep your neck straight. Sense and sense. Fresheners or fresheners. <laughs> And no place can go without the W40. This is the best. What's an uh, 3M? Is this like a DW40 knockoff? Possibly. It says here it's a lubricant. Yeah, I think that's a Korean knockoff. I may be wrong on this, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I understand, the story behind DW40 is that whoever invented these, uh, it took him 40 trials, 40 fails, 40 times they failed before they came up with this final product. That sold uh, in millions and millions of dollars all across the world, I think. Well, I don't know, at least the developed countries. I don't know many countries they exported to, but it's definitely in Canada. Uh, you think it's in the US? I assume it's made in the US. Actually, I don't know where it's made. Um, from what I understand, the story is that they, they had 40 trials and fails before they came up with the last final product. So that just shows you. Don't give up. Keep doing it. Whatever you do. Okay, continuing. Fancy watering cans. These are more for show. I guess if you're opening a coffee shop, you can use one of those. First aid kit. Looks more like a sewing kit. I guess it'll do. First aid container. I bought mine for 10,000 one with everything inside. It's a smaller size. This one's 5,000 one. So I guess if you wanted to fill that up, that would cost you another 30 grand. So, so far out of my first aid kit, I've only used a bag of band-aids. I hope to keep it that way. Just replenish the band-aids. Nothing else gets broken. These are some floor mats. No, folders. Oh, these boxes. Oh, these are foldable boxes. You can open it up and make yourself some boxes. And golfing equipment. Oh yeah, I forget to mention that. Golfing equipment. Even a fake coin. What is it, a fake euro to mark your spot where your golf ball landed. This is a pair of uh, badminton rackets. I don't know if that's the, these are the ones that we have, but I know Mali picked up a pair. We've got a couple of uh, badminton rackets in our home. They're cheap, I think she paid 5,000 won for those. They're good, they do the trick. Okay, time to pay, let's get out of here. 
Okay, we're out of here. Well, this was a fun experience. Uh, Daiso is like a progressive dollar store. I think it started off a few years ago uh, when it first opened up. Uh, most of the items inside were a dollar each. Right now, uh, the prices, I think the merchandise has expanded. There's a lot more they have and the prices have gone up a little bit, but it's still pretty reasonable. And I love it. Like you can find anything and everything in it, I think. Uh, my daughter loves going in there because there's a lot of stuff that she wants to buy. It's not too expensive, which, you know, makes it more affordable for her. Um, instead of going to a larger store where fish food, for example, can cost five or eight bucks. Over here, it's only three. Hey, check this out. I found this on the way here. This is really cool. This is a mini car. I don't know what brand it is, but it looks like uh, it's this tailor-made Geschmied. It looks like a German smart car, but... Uh, it is a smart car. Oh, there you go. I guess that gives it away. I don't know. Brabus for two. Okay. Is this the European smart car? I have no idea. I have to look it up. Somebody knows it. Let me know. That's the logo. Oh. Right next to our place is a wedding hall. Every weekend it gets swarmed with people. The traffic gets really bad here on Sundays. Fire trucks. Gotta be careful not to get run over here. I'm gonna go around a little bit. It's a really nice day. It's a shame that the pollution is so bad today. I wouldn't mind being outside. Instead, Liam is stuck at home. Molly went out to watch some movies with a friend, so she's inside. She took a mask with her. I told her to wear it if she's outside. Hopefully, she will. Her friend didn't wear a mask. Her parents, her friend's parents, didn't wear a mask. So I hope Molly doesn't get cowed into following the crowd and not wearing a mask because it's a lot more convenient. But in the meantime, Liam is stuck at home and uh, pretty much the first thing in the morning he decided to do, his mom let him, is to watch television. So he's sitting there watching television, so I gotta go back and provide him with some entertainment, drag him away from that box because his mind's getting lacerated. <laughs> My wife brought up a valid point just the other day, I guess she was looking at the videos on YouTube. She started laughing, she says, I gotta get a new jacket. The point, the fact is that I'm a creature of comfort. This jacket, it's a few years old. I don't know, maybe four, maybe five, maybe more. But it's dirty. <laughs> I haven't washed it in a few days. But it's light, it's warm, and I can just throw it on and, you know, don't have to worry about being cold I guess and I don't really pay much attention to you know to my looks because I'm out in my neighborhood here and I'm looking for comfort my shoes are torn my jeans are simple and my jacket is dirty I look like a bum but I'm okay with that because it's a Sunday and I'm a 43 year old male who's not looking to pick up anybody I'm not going for a business meeting I'm just out for a walk I guess maybe I could do a bit more for YouTube and be more you know star like but I think you gotta have to look for star like presentation so which I don't which technically means that I should dress up well I don't know I like my jacket I like my comfort shoot me It's a sunny Sunday afternoon and the playground is empty. There's one lost child that's playing by herself. And other than that, there's nobody here, no children. It's a desolate place, this playground. I think on any other Sunday, sunny Sunday, this place would be bouncing with laughter and uh, screaming. All right, I'm back home. Whew much better. I don't really enjoy wearing masks. They're very restrictive. It's almost like having a turtleneck on your neck or a tie for that matter. It's just very chocative. Remember, like, subscribe, comment. See you next time.
Hey bud, what are you doing? <laughs>